Over 1 billion cups of coffee are being enjoyed across the globe today, according to the International Coffee Organization. September 29th is the day that 22 countries, including Canada, have selected as their International Coffee Day to celebrate our infatuation with this warm, dark, and caffeinated beverage. It's a $6.2 billion a year industry, with coffee holding down the number one spot as the most popular beverage to drink amongst Canadians over 16. I drink coffee every day, at least twice a day, and I like that it keeps me awake. I like coffee. Uh, I'm more of an espresso kind of guy, you know. I do enjoy coffee every day. I'm highly addicted. I love coffee. I drink coffee every day. It definitely makes him happier once he has his first coffee. Makes me a nicer person. It does, it definitely. Canada is ranked as one of the top three coffee consuming countries in the world. And with so many regions across the globe producing the bean, coffee drinkers have more selection than ever when it comes to what's in the cup. Now the coffee world has opened up to us. Central America, South America, Africa, Indonesia. We look at new things, unique things like India, Dominican Republic, Cuban coffee when we can get it. So when we get our green coffee, we usually use something called a trier or an open bag method where we inspect the coffee that we have. We look at the moisture content of coffee, uh, we look at sugar content of coffee. That helps us decide how we're going to roast our coffee. When it's time to hit brew, what do most Canadians do? The drip system. A drip pot of coffee, it takes very little preparation, preparation up front and from there you have a pot, uh, 6, 8, 12 cups of coffee. What really counts is fresh, filtered, drawn, cool water, uh, ground coffee on time before you brew it, um, decant the coffee and consume it. A lot more people are going to homemade espresso. Espresso takes preparation time. There's a little bit of art and science involved. The people that do it and want to stay with it truly enjoy their shot of espresso, turning it into cocktails, which could be lattes, macchiatos, uh, cappuccinos, whatever the case may be. Coffee and health is another hot topic. A 30-year study done at Harvard with over 200,000 people found that drinking between one and five cups of coffee per day is actually associated with fewer incidents of death from cardiovascular disease. So no matter how you're sipping your coffee today, know that you're in good company with the rest of Canada and the world. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.